Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine the missing side length of either a tangent or a secant using the tangent secant power theorem. So we have a picture right here. So we have a tangent which is labeled as A, so that's the length of the tangent, which both of these uh, tangent and secant are actually intersecting or they touch each other at a point external or outside the circle. So um, and then there's another line right here, which is a secant. So again, a tangent touches only at one point of the circle. A secant touches the circle twice. And um, so this is the tangent second power um, theorem. So if a tangent and a secant are drawn from an external point to a circle, so this point is right here, then the square of the length of tangent is equal to the product of the length of the secant's external part and the length of the entire um, secant. To better understand this, I wrote a formula here in words. So let's define each of the words first. So when we say entire, it means the whole thing. So that's the whole thing. So the whole tangent. So in this example, I have A as the whole tangent. So that's why we have an A squared because the A is the tangent. It's the entire tangent. Again, entire means whole. And then it is equal to the product of the external. External means, let's define this first. External means the outside. So the length of the outside here for the secant is between the B and C is the B. So that's why I wrote letter B on the outside that corresponds to the external or the outside side length. The other part right here is the entire. Again, entire means the whole thing. So to get the measure of the whole secant here, we are going to add B. So if I add B and C, is the whole thing or the entire um, secant. So this is the equation for tangent secant power theorem. Now let's have an example to better understand this um, formula right here. So I, we have this first example. I have um, uh, written the formula again on, on this piece of uh, post-it and then I'll put that up here because we're going to use that in solving for the missing side length of these two um, problems here. So let's take the first one. So we have a, a tangent and we have a secant. So it says that we are supposed to square the length of the entire tangent. So the tangent here is 10. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, 10 squared. So I'm going to write 10. And then again, it was supposed to be squared. So 10 squared is equal to the external of the secant. So that is the x. So I'm going to write x times the entire thing means we add both the inside and the outside. So that would be x plus 15. Okay, now we can simplify this. This would come out a uh, um, 100. And that is equal to we distribute the x to both terms inside the parentheses and that would come out x squared plus 15 x so x times x x squared x times 15 is 15 x now we are going to uh, use the zero product property that means one of the sides should be equal to zero so that means i'm going to subtract um, 100 from both sides so minus 100 minus 100 so then we are left with the uh, left side would become a zero and that is equal to x squared plus 15 x minus 100. Now, what are we going to do is we are going to factor this. We, we change this into factor form so that we can solve for x. In order that we can do that, we are going to use the, again, we're going to use the box and diamond. So I'm going to write the diamond here first. So the diamond for this would be the first and the last. So that would be negative 100x squared. And then the middle term will go, will go to the bottom of the diamond. That would be 15x. So the factors for this is 20x. And the other one is negative 5x. And that makes sense because if I multiply um, 20x times negative 5x is negative 100x squared. And if I add 20x plus negative 5x is 15x 
x. Now I'm I'm ready to use the box for this to, to get the factors. So the first term is gonna go here, and then the last term negative 100 here. And so we write the red factors that we got from the diamond up here. It doesn't matter which of um it doesn't matter which way you would want to write it. So I'm gonna have negative 5x here and then 20x here. So then the factors for this would be x and x. This is uh, 20, and then this is negative 5. And that makes sense because if I have x times x, x squared. 20 times x is 20x. Um, negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 20 is negative 100. So these are the factors. So I'm going to write that out over here. So that is equal to zero again, and then the factored form for this x squared plus 15x minus 100 using the box and diamond would be x plus 20 and x minus 5. Now I can use the zero product property from here so that I can solve for x because we want the x by itself. So then this can come out to um, x plus 20 equals zero and x minus 5 equals 0. And then from here, I'm going to solve each of these equations separately. So minus 20 and minus 20. So then the, the first x is negative 20. And then let's move on to the next one right here. So that's a plus 5 and plus 5. So we can cross the 5 out. So we're left with x is equal to 5. Between these two um, solutions, our answer or the solution for this kind of problem would be the x plus 5. The reason why it's the solution, um, th by the way, this one right here, I'm going to label this as not the solution. The reason why this is not the solution, it's because it comes in a form of a negative, so not the solution. So we can't, we can't have a negative length, so x is Five. Now, how do we know if we got we got our uh, we got the answer correct? So we are going to um, plug it in and see if it would work. So let's uh, use the uh, the original equation that we got over there. So it's going to be this one. So I'm going to use that to check. So that would be ten squared. Is that equal to again the x? We plug in the five instead of x. So this is five times. 5 plus 15. So then 10, 10 squared is 100. Is that equal to 5 times 5 plus 15 is 20. So 100 is equal to 100. So that means that our value for x, which is 5, is correct. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try to solve for x on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So it's pretty much the same thing. I wrote the formula up here so we can use that in solving for um, the x. So we start by writing the entire tangent first. Again, this is the tangent. It, touch, it touches only one point in the circle. This is the secant. It touches two points on the circle. So the entire tangent here would be 8 squared. So I'm going to write 8 squared. That's the tangent. And that is equal to the external for the secant is... 4 times adding the whole thing, that would be 4 plus x. 8 squared is 64, and that is equal to, we can distribute the 4 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. That would come out 16, and then that's a plus 4x. So then I subtract, uh, because I want x by itself, so I subtract 16 from both sides, minus 16. So this would come out 4x is equal to 48 minus, uh, uh, 64 minus 16 is 48. Divided by 4, so I divide this by 4, I divide this by 4, so then the x value would be 12. So that is equal to 12. Now let's see if our um, solution is correct by uh, checking the um, work that we just did. So we are now checking. So let's check if this would work. So instead of writing x, I'm going to uh, put 12 to the x here. So that is 8 squared. Is that equal to 4 times 
that's going to be 4 plus x is 12. So we're not sure if that would equal each other. So 8x is 64 equals 4 times 4 plus 12 is 16. And so that's 64. 4 times 16 is 64. So then our answer for um, x, which is 12, is correct. Did you get the same answer as this? x is equal to 12? Good. Perfect. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, pause it and check your answer. <coughs> okay, so we go over the problem here. So it's pretty much uh, similar to the ones that we did. Let me take the formula that we got over here. So it's the same formula since we have a tangent and a secant. So in this problem right here, we are going to um, set this up. First, the entire tangent is x plus 8. So I'm going to write x plus 8, and then I'm going to square it. And that is equal to the secant part, which is the external, 12. And then the entire, to get the entire, I am going to um, add both the external and the inside. So that would be 12 plus 15. And then um, to get the um, x plus 8, to get uh, the value for this x plus 8, we are going to use the um, box for this, or the area model. So to do that, we are going to multiply x plus 8 twice. So that is x and then 8, and then x and 8. So this is x squared, 8x, 8x, and 64. So then if we simplify this by adding the um, um, diagonal, so this would come out x squared plus 16x plus 64. So this whole thing will come out of this. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 16x plus 64 equals 12. And then we add these two together, that would be 27. So then from here, we are going to simplify some more. So that would be x squared plus 16x plus 64 equals 12 times 27. If you use the calculator, that would be 324. We want, the, uh, we want to use the zero product proper to solve for x. So then we are going to make this side equal to zero. So that would be minus 324 minus 324. So then we are left with, so we can cross this out becomes a zero. So that is x squared plus 16x. That's um, 64 minus 324 is negative 260 is equal to zero. And then from here, we are going to use the box and diamond for this um, part right here. In order that we can factor this out, I'm going to show the box and diamond up here. So um, the um, we first multiply the first and the last, so that is negative 260x squared, and then the middle term will go to the bottom of the diamond, that is 16x. So we find the factors. The factors for this, using the box and diamond, we can have 26x and negative 10x. That means if we multiply 26x times negative 10x, it's negative 260x squared. And if we add 26 plus negative 10x is 16x. So then we are ready to um, use the box for this to find the factors. So um, the first term is going to go here, x squared. This is negative 260. The red factors will go to any of these two diagonals. I can have negative 10x and 26x right there. So then the factors would be x and x. This is negative 10 and this is 26. So these two are the factors. So then this can get transformed into its factored form x minus 10. And oops, I'm going to use blue for this to be uniform with the rest of the um, part. So that's x minus 10. And then x plus 26 equals 0. And then from here, I can use the zero product property to solve for the x. 
So then I can go ahead and say x minus 10 equals 0. And then the other part is x plus 26 equals 0. So then I add 10 from both sides plus 10 here. So I am left with x is equal to 10. And then the other value for x would be minus 26 from both sides, minus 26. So I can cross the 26 out. That's x is equal to negative 26. Between these two um, solutions that we got, 10 is our solution. Again, the reason for this is we do not get a negative uh, length. So this one right here would be, uh, this one is the solution. And this x minus 6 is not the solution because it comes in negative. So this one is not the solution, 10 is the solution. Now how do we know, um, how, do we, how can we check if we got uh, the correct answer? So let's check our work over here. Again, we use the original equation and then we, but this time around, we are going to plug in 10 to the x instead of x. So this would come out, so this equation would come out 10 plus eight, and then that's a squared. Is that equals? We're not sure of it yet. That would be 12 times 12 plus 15. So this becomes 18 squared. Is that equal to 12 times 27? So 12 times 27 is 324. 18 squared is actually 324, which means that our x is 10. So then we can label the values here. Our x again is 10. Now we're looking for hg, the length of this side. We know that gf is 12 and fe is 15, but what is gh? To do that, we are going to plug the value of x into the equation. So that would be 10 plus 8. So that means this length right here from point g to h, which is the tangent, is 18. So that is 10 plus 8 is 18. So hg is 18. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!